Still, I love that face. <laughs> if we said that, she would probably very much like you way too much. Guys, we are finally back with the one, the only, Finance and Anime, the Golden Age. So you guys absolutely annihilated the like goal on the last video. I think as this video, we got over 4K likes. That's absolutely insane. So again, I'm going to keep it consistent. I'm going to keep it simple, over 2K likes, and we'll do the next part. So yeah, last time we saw the animatronics, we got introduced to the other animatronics with uh, Fania, Freddy Chan, Freddy, whatever you want to call her. And now we're going out to the Robo Store, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, to try get parts to help uh, rebuild Golden Spring Bonnie and Golden Freddy. So let's get into this here. Okay, it's daytime. I still can't believe what is actually going on in that location, but I guess... I'll just play along. <laughs> okay, sure. Hmm, what a lovely store. I guess this is the place that Roger mentioned. Totally looks like a robo store, by the way, even though it totally doesn't. <laughs> Whoa, the outside looked good, but the inside? What the heck happened? Well, this looks weird. But I guess looks aren't everything. Oh, hi, another man. I'll silhouette it up. Like, all the men are just a blank canvas, and all the women are, well, not a blank canvas. <laughs> They all have very large, very huge, very ginormous personalities. Hello and welcome to the Robo Shop. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm searching for animatronic parts and pieces. Do you have any of those? Yeah, just go to the far left, right at the end. <laughs> Super convenient, by the way. Thanks. No problem. Okay, if he's correct, he should be to the right. There. Okay, let's see. Huh, this could be really useful. Ah. What? what? thousand dollars? Where the heck should I get this kind of money? It's weird because the front of the store looked very Japanese, you know? It looked like we were very much in Japan and then suddenly we walk in and it's all very American and things cost dollars. <laughs> what even is this place? Where are we? There's some colors I could use to make the goldies look new and only $30 each. Ah, uh, right, they're on sale. I need two, so $60. At least I have something left to get something to eat. I'll take these. $60, please. Here. Have a nice day. All right, we got something. Just some colors to freshen them up. Guess that's all I can do for now. I better get something to eat before I forget. <laughs> well, use that vending machine. You know, that very Japanese vending machine in an American store. Nothing much happened for the rest of this day, and it was soon time for me to go back to my night shift. Night two! Ah, oh, they're asleep. Look at them! Don't they look so adorable? Snuggling up to each other, just sleeping up, making many zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
I don't know. We gotta start with our Freddy. I'm loving our Freddy. I am. I guess I go to Freddy Chan. She already opened up to me for a short moment. She did, and she's continually opening up more and more. Hey, Freddy. Hey. Any progress? Not yet. I'm currently taking a break. Guess you really need it. Yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. As long as you help the Goldies, I don't care. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Not sure if she was being fully sincere there or anything with the way she was holding her arms like that and looking away. What brings you here anyway? Uh, I, I just want to get to know you better. Why would you want to get to know me of all girls? Uh, I guess I don't have a real answer to that. I guess I just want to get to know you. Whatever. What do you wish to know? Well, I want to know how you're still able to perform when you hate humans that much. I can't keep myself together most of the time. And when I sing, I just pretend they're not there. Makes sense! She just kind of blanks everything out. She probably just loves singing in general. So when she does it, she's just kind of lost in the clouds and lost in her own space and mind. Well, at least you are not one of those scums. I kind of know what you you need to go through. I'm glad you understand, but how do you know exactly from my own experiences? Uh, before I met you, I was bullied because of my appearance. Oh no, it's the music of our protagonist telling another sad, sad story. I was never taken seriously even though I was older than I looked. But after some time, I started to get used to it and learned to ignore it because I have no reason to listen to them. If I need to think of any positives, it would be that I learned what scum they are. Wow, all right, da 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 da. Freddy, is he feeling emotion towards us right now? I, I didn't know you were bullied like that. Now I have even more reasons to hate those scums. No, that's not what we're meant to do. <laughs> We weren't meant, we weren't meant, meant to make you feel like that. Die. <laughs> what? But I learned that you are different. Hey, she's doing the arm cross look away thing, but this time she's smiling. This time she's smiling. And maybe some others too. Oh, thank God. Just please keep your promise, yeah? For their sake. I promise I'll do my very best. And for that, I need to be at my very best. Then I'll believe you. You're actually quite nice. Whoa, she said that about being a Sundari Bay. What? Oh, never mind, she's a Sundari Bay. <laughs> I kind of like that she's got this personality. It just makes it funny and interesting. Forget you heard it. Uh, that's kind of impossible. Anyway, good luck. And if you need help with the repairs, you can count on me. Thank you, Freddy. Well, I think I'll be going. Have fun. Ayo. That warmth for Freddy, it's only getting warmer! Woo, I'm in! I'm actually starting to like Freddy Chan a lot! You and me both! You and me both are simple friends! Let's just go random. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Who did I click? No, Springy, no! Please. This is gonna be bad, bad times! Hey, regrets. It's good to see you. Uh, good to see you too. Uh, Goldie Chan? Yes, regrets. Could I borrow Springy for some time? Oh, she's gonna lie there. <laughs> I, I want to get to, I want to get to know her better. Of course, regrets. I don't mind. Yes, I can hang out with regrets. Be good to her, you hear? You, you can trust me on that. Of course I do. See you later, Goldie. See you soon. Sure thing. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just trying to find alternatives on how to repair you. Huh? Did something go wrong? Well, you could say that. I was about to buy some parts that I could use to repair you, but... There were big numbers. <laughs> uh, well, that's not good. Yeah, don't worry though. I'll find a way for sure. I'm sure you will. I I hope so. Maybe it's time for us to get to know know each other a little more. Regrets. I don't I don't think it is. Can I maybe ask what this place was like when you and Goldie Chan performed? Well, it was funny sometimes. I can tell you. <laughs> Before there were only three of us. Golden Goldie Chan, me, and Puppet. And this location was so small it was scary to even look at. For real? Yeah. But later on, Freddy, Bonnie, and everyone else came along. It was so beautiful. I I'm sure it was. Yeah. Regrets? Yeah. I'm so happy that you're here. I can't wait to get repaired soon and spend even more time with you. How are you always so optimistic? I could s screw up again, you know. Oh, stop being so pessimistic. <laughs> optimistic, pessimistic, what are things? 
You can do it, I know. How can you be so sure that easily? Mm, I don't know. I just trust you, you know. Springy is so dreadful that I even feel a little sorry for her, and at the same time, I sure as heck don't want to stuff this up. I gotta say, I got a little more motivation, thanks to her. Thanks for, uh, trusting me. Anytime, cutie. Oh no, she's, she's about to get close. Huggy! No! No! YouTube, I'm sorry! Oh, this is just a regular hug. Oh, this is fine. This is actually fine? You sure love hugging people. Of course I do, but I love hugging you the most. Oh, man. We didn't even need to get to know her that much, and she already wants to be all in! For some reason, it makes me really happy to hear that from her. Before I'm losing any more of my mind, I carefully loosen myself from her hug. Uh, thanks for, uh, the hug. Any time regrets. No offense, but she probably stinks. <laughs> She's been in that repair room for so long. I'm sure there's a little stench going on there or something. And what about the loose wires? Didn't he get a little elect electrocuted? <laughs> Didn't he feel a little tickle from those loose ends? <laughs> It probably wasn't the most comfortable thing. Uh, I'll, uh, 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 I'm gonna get back to things, I think. Sure, regrets. See you later then. Yeah. And there she goes. Seriously, what's wrong with me whenever I'm with Springy? I just don't understand what to think of her right now. <sighs> Questions for later. Oh, we're just seeing all the bays. I feel like we need to see Goldie right now just because we kind of bunked her off a minute ago, you know? Well, we didn't quite bunk her off, but we went into the room and she probably got, you know, interested that we were there. And then we just said, right, go away. <laughs> I want to spend time with Springy. I'm still wondering how Goldie-chan can be so calm after all what happened and like Freddy. It's maybe not best to think about it right now, but I'm interested to spend more time with her. So we're just getting to know all the girls. Okay, sure, I'm in. Hey, regrets. Hey again, again, Springy. Okay, so we got some continuity here. That's kind of neat. <laughs> I see you two understand each other really well. Of course we do. Isn't that right, regrets? D of course it is. <laughs> Say, Springy, is it okay if I talk to Goldie alone for some time? Because you did get your time. We had our 101. We went all POV. <laughs> you went all pops and personal. You want to get to know me a little better, am I right? Well, yeah, it wouldn't hurt, I guess. <laughs> of course it won't. You know, this place got a lot more exciting after you came along. You, you think? Dang right, I think. <laughs> Make yourself at home, regrets. You're part of the family now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> family. You okay, regrets? Did I say something wrong? Uh, no, everything's fine. It's nothing. Oh no, another traumatic past thing. He probably had something go bad with his family. <laughs> This guy just doesn't have the best of luck. He really doesn't. He's got many things wrong with him. He does. Goodness me. Huh, just relax for some more time, would you? Doing my best. If you want to relax, you could just go to Springy anytime, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I, I think we're past. Well, I'll go back to Springy, regrets. You're always welcome at our place. Uh, thanks. See you then. Bye-bye. And she's gone. Springy time must have told her about that time. That's not something I would just tell anyone. Goldie Chan is really nice. She's a really good person. I would love to spend more time with her later on. Are we going to get another night where we spend time with them yet again? Like a second date, you know? <laughs> we just continually know more and more about them. Right, we're going to go random. We're going random. We're going random. Who do I click? Oh, it's Foxy. I keep going for the purse. Okay. Here goes nothing. Foxy Chan. Are you there? Oh, she is there on command. Hey, pal. I actually didn't expect you here, to be honest. Something on your mind. Yeah, I would actually love to get to know you a little more. Interesting. Why don't we go into my cove first? Oh, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, I think I think we should we should take it a little slower. <laughs> ever heard of a ever heard of taking our steps nice and slow? It's kind of what I want to do. Ah, oh, sure thing. Okay, apparently we don't. We're going all in. We're going all in. What the flip? Why is there like a TV? What's a big TV screen you have in here? Yep, I'm watching a lot of animes lately. Wait, you're watching animes too? Oh, is that so? Ha, guess I found another anime friend. Uh, seems like it. We then sat down together to watch some animes that we both enjoy to watch. <laughs> okay, sure. Just round me on TV and watching Crunchyroll or something. <laughs> you really seem to like Etchies the most, of course. Ha, huh, don't worry. I watch a lot of action ones too. By the way, what kind of anime do you like most? 
that, uh, oh, okay. If we said that, she would probably very much like you way too much. So I'm just going to say I like the funny ones. <laughs> I love to watch comedy animes so that I always have something to laugh at. <laughs> yeah, those are hilarious, right? Uh, Foxy? Huh? Something on your mind? Yeah. Can I ask you why you can't perform right now? I know I shouldn't ask, but I just can't help. But I feel like I need to do something. Ugh. I'm sorry I asked. Ugh, forget it. Nah, mate, it's alright. I also feel like I need to let it out some somehow, you know? Oh, the music is here again. It's going to be sad, teary moments. Guys, get your tissues. Get your handkerchiefs. It's going to be sad days. <laughs> There was a little girl one day that got lost because of the crowd we had that day. It was ridiculous. And there was also a creepy old scumbag who wanted to get his hand on her, and he followed her without worrying about getting seen, because everyone was distracted at the time. But not on my watch! I stepped in before he could do any- do- go any further. Okay, so she was just protecting this girl, but she got, like, banned for it or something. But you know what he tried next? He seriously wanted to get his dirty hands on me! So out of reflex, I punched him so hard in his head that he actually died! What? <laughs> I just hit him so hard that he flipping died! <laughs> but that seems to have been enough to lock me out of performing. I got locked out because I did something right. But you probably shouldn't have killed a man. <laughs> it was great that you wanted to protect the girl, but killing a man? Okay! I understand why you're locked behind doors and you're all caged up. I should probably go myself now. <laughs> it was the only way to make the little girl feel truly safe from him. What, by killing a man? I'm not going to let that go. Guys like those never change. I agree. But killing a man? <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, I mean it. And here I thought you would tell tell me some rubbish like they do, like they do change and all. Because that would have been boring. No, I'm not only saying that because it would have been boring otherwise. I'm saying that because it's true. Well, not everyone would see it that way, way right now. They should, they should know one day that guys like him just never change. And being in jail wouldn't stop them. Huh. I really like the way you're thinking. I must say, you impressed me, mate. I actually stopped caring about what people said about my methods, but you are an exception. Thanks, but you killed a man! <laughs> well, bye then, Foxy-chan. See your regrets. Sure, that was kinda weird. We just learned one thing. She killed a man. <laughs> More random! Okay, Bonnie time. We didn't quite get the chance to know each other yet. I don't think I've even spoke to her hardly. This would be a good time, I think. I'm all in! Regrets. I want to ask you if we could hang out together, maybe? Since we didn't really get the chance earlier. Yeah, I could finally hang out with regrets. I can't do anything but smile. Duh. Glad to hear it. So what should we do first? Oh, oh, I know. We could play some video games together. Okay, that's random, but sure. I, I don't have any with me right now. We have some in our backstage. Okay, let's go. I really kind of like Bonnie already. <laughs> because I like anyone who talks to me for five seconds. So let's get to the racing games. Okay, bring it. I'll take the blue car. Of course, I win do way. I'll take green then. And go. Ha, <laughs> don't slack off. Ha, <laughs> you wish. I wish we were kind of seeing something here, but I guess that would be kind of hard. Oh, and it's my win. Oh, hey. Ha, <laughs> I win. you got to admit, that was close. <laughs> Just close. Okay, okay, I accept the fee. You seem to play a lot of video games when you're that good. Yeah, me, BB-chan, and Foxy-chan used to play every night almost endlessly. But since that day, Foxy-chan didn't come out to play as much as before. She did something that she didn't get over with yet. I actually talked to her already. Interesting! So if we talked to Bonnie first, you probably would have, like, questioned what she was talking about. But because we talked to Foxy first, again, that continuity and that continuation, yeah, he already says that we actually talked to her. So I really like that there. That's cool. You did? Yeah. She was pretty cool, actually. I'm glad. She feels a lot better now. I'm sure she will play with you all again eventually. Really? Yep. Yay. You don't know how happy I am right now. I actually kind of do, because you got your tongue sticking out like you're a flipping dog. Later, then. Later. I thought we'd get to know her a little more. I mean, it was kind of cute playing fun and games, but... I wanted to know more of her personality and know a little bit more about her history and what she thought about first coming to this place. It was just really fun to spend time with Bonnie-chan, actually. 
I would really love to spend time with her. For some reason, she manages, manages to make me feel safe. Wow, we got more. Time for a totally random, totally not knowing who I'm getting with Root. Who did I choose? Oh, BB! No. When I reached her room, I couldn't see her anywhere. BB Chan, are you there? Of course, on command! As soon as I called out for her, she appeared from behind two boxes that were on top of each other. What? Oh, hey, regrets. What brings you here? Nothing much. I just wanted to see you. Are you alright? You look like a zombie. I know. I could definitely use a break like Chika-chan suggested. That's the right thing to do. You always need to know your enemy, right? What's he talking about? In what sense? <laughs> Remember how you were scared of us? You should know by now that we don't bite, even though Foxy killed a man! So yes, you do bite! <laughs> just in certain circumstances, you do bite! Well, just maybe a little. What does she mean? Get grip regrets, you're imagining way too much. <laughs> you should see your face now, did I scare you? Not that much, actually I don't... How am I supposed to react? I need to change the subject. Uh, anyway, so what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a little cleaning. I'm just dusting and trying to make this room a little more spacious. Wait a minute, isn't that what the cleaners should be doing? They should, but they always want to go home early and therefore they don't pay much attention to it. That's just great. So where should I clean? Wait, you want to help? Yeah, why not? You just look like you could collapse any second now. Don't worry, I can handle it. If you insist. There are some shells I didn't clean yet. Maybe you can try that? that I, I think I can handle it. Okay, then I'll be on the other side. Call me if you need something, okay? Uh, alright. Sure thing, just randomly going to clean even though I'm the security guard and not the cleaner. Yes, I'm done. Whoa, as soon as I spoke, I lost my balance. I was about to fall down. Regrets, watch out. Oh no, did we fall on top? BB, you know, totally typical anime scenario is going to be had right now, isn't it? <laughs> what happened? Are you okay, Regrets? Yes, I fell on top of her, of course. <laughs> as soon as I opened my eyes, I saw her face really close to me. <laughs> you look so funny right now. Oh, shameful. So, should we stay like that or go? Yeah, I think we should go. But for some reason, I didn't move. I just looked into her eyeballs. For that, you need to get up first. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I got up and then also helped BB turn up. Everything looks clean. Thank you, Regrets. Uh, anytime. Hey, how about... Uh, what just happened? Never mind. But admit it, you did enjoy it, right? Oh! <laughs> Exposed! Uh, you look so funny when I tease you like that. Yeah, no kidding. How the heck am I supposed to react to this? I really like spending time with you, Regrets. It's fun watching you blush. Uh, no comment. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get back to things. Sure, come by any time, Regrets. See you soon. Uh, yeah. Sure thing, alright. What just happened? But even though she's a little awkward at times, I really like BB Chan. She's really nice and even keeps everything clean. Alright, next one! Mango, are you there? Of course, on command, as always. Uh, oh, hello, Regrets. Can I ask you, uh, what led you here? I just wanted to talk to you, if that's okay. Uh, oh. Sorry, did that make you feel uncomfortable? You seemed okay when I first met you. How come you're so uncomfortable in front of me right now? I, I don't like being with men and boys uh, alone. Should I maybe bring someone along with me? No, no, no. It's all right. I was just surprised that all, that's all. I think that would have been a cool choice there if she actually did say yes and we got to choose one of the other animatronic girls, that, that would have been good, but nope, we don't need anyone, so we don't get that option there. But again, that would have been kind of neat. I was just surprised, that's all. Oh, uh, glad to hear it. Do you think we can go inside your cove? Uh, of, of course. We're going in. Whoa, okay. Wow, totally the pure opposite of Foxy Chan. It's all bright and clean and has no TV. I'll, I'll make us some tea. Is that okay? What? She has a kettle. What the flip? Does she know I'm British? How does she know? How do you know I'm English? I'm making some tea, is that okay? Uh, uh, sure. It feels so different when I talk to Mangle. I feel like there's so much more to her. D tea is ready. Thanks. 
I I'm sorry, I I'm just not used to getting a visit from you. But don't worry, okay? It's not your fault or anything. It seems like we have something in common. And that is... We are both kind of shy, even though I've gone up to every other animatronic girl so far and have totally been okay with it. <laughs> well, I am only shy around the animatronics. It's, well, you know, you still aren't used to us yet. Yeah, I'm trying to work on that, but it seems to be working, kind of. What about you, if you don't mind? <laughs> don't worry. I think I uh, was like that from the uh, very beginning, which leads me to me trying to ask if you know how how you came to the world like that exactly. This is what I wanted to know about the others, like something like this. Like, why and how are you animatronics alive? As far as I can think of, I was here from the very beginning. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I can't remember being anywhere else. But it, it didn't bother me since I had my friends that I could remember. Weird. But I think what is important is where we are now and that we live a happy life. True. Anyway, what did you do today, may I ask? Oh, well, uh, I was in that one robo shop at daytime and bought the colours for the Golden Girls at least. Because everything else was, well, ridiculously expensive. Really? Yeah, like $1,000 for each part or so. Oh. I was also talking to Freddy Chan today, and I'm actually starting to understand her. I played video games with Bonnie Chan together, I watched animes with Foxy Chan, and it feels much better now after I talked to her again. If we spoke to Mangle straight up first, he probably wouldn't have said anything like this. Probably only would have mentioned the Robo Shop thing, but he wouldn't have mentioned us seeing the other girl. So again, the continuity and the continuation here it's like a really good touch. I helped BB Chan to clean the games room. Goldie Chan was also really kind. Springy Chan also had a very good day. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. You seem to have uh, interesting times regrets. I'm also really happy that you could actually help Foxy. I, I really can't thank you enough. To be honest, I, I didn't want to mention this topic because I, I thought it could upset her even more because of my actions. But luckily it all worked out it seems. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying my time talking with you. Mango-chan is getting red. <laughs> Look at her expression, it's so adorable. Did I say something wrong? It's all right, it's not your fault. Then why do you feel embarrassed? It's my fault. I'm not used to talking to males at all. And the way I talk to you now was by far the best I could do. I love that face. <laughs> so that's the that's the problem then. I, I just don't know how to talk to males properly and for some reason, they also kind of scare me. Wow, that seems to be really tough for you. But it's far worse with other males than, than you. When I get the chance, I would love to help you too somehow get less nervous in front of a male. I, I would love that. Maybe it would even be enough to not get nervous around me? Why the heck did I say that? <laughs> it's because I love her so much! And I'm a total simp for Mangle! That would make me happy. Uh, I mean, uh, good to hear. <laughs> You are funny, Regrets. I would love to spend more time... time with you. Jesus, I'm getting overwhelmed by her innocence. Thanks for the team angle. Oh, anytime. I I'll see you soon then? See you soon, Regrets. Alright, the cute Mangle, always a good time. Mangle Chan is such a good person, it's just hard to believe that they're actual animatronics. Or more like it's only animatronic bodies, but with a heart and a soul. The what the heck am I thinking? I don't know what you're thinking. You're saying some weird things. Okay, we've only got the last two. Who, who are we going for? Okay. Oh, it's Chica. Okay. I don't think we've already seen Chica either. She seems to be one of the most mature. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, hey, regrets. Did you finally consider to take a break from working? Yeah, I guess. I was about to go into the kitchen. Want to come along? Uh, sure. Here we go, we're about to have a flipping sandwich, or pizza, or something, or burger, or some chicken nuggets, with the chicken, chicken nugs, alright. This is the room with the broken camera, right? Yeah, I don't know when the camera's going to be fixed, but as long as everything else works, we'll be fine. How the heck do they eat anyway? I know that guy on the phone system in the buy, but I was far too busy in trying to process the rest. Uh, Chica, how do you exactly eat? Or more like, do you need to eat at all? Well, we don't actually need to eat at all. But even so, could you still resist to eat? 
even when you know you don't need to. Yeah, that's kind of me on a daily basis. You know, I've had my dinner, I've had my fill, but there's always room for more. I don't think I need to ask how they actually eat as long as it works. I know you're definitely hungry after all the whole working. I'll make you a pizza. And don't worry, you don't need to pay for that. I was about to ask. He's already got no money, goodness me. He's trying to save up for these avatonic parts with these avatonic wafers. Ten minutes later. Ooh, pizza time. Here you go, have a nice meal regrets. Uh, thanks. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Chika-chan then sat down next to me and we ate the pizza together. That was tasty. It really was. You know, since you already did the work, I think it's my turn to clean up. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I'm actually enjoying my time with her. Because she keeps me well fed. Oh, whoa, there's way more here. I thought we were just having the pizza and then getting the heck out, but no, there's way more. Oh, so here's where you store the tools and materials for repairing. Yeah, pretty much. That stuff sure looks heavy, though. I'm really glad you're taking a break, at least for now. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Hey, regrets. Want to share some of your experiences with me? Oh, well... My life was mostly rubbish, but there were maybe some exceptions. Well, I'm watching a lot of anime, and I also play video games. Which leads me to... Uh, do you watch anime, or...? <laughs> not as much as Foxy-chan, definitely. <laughs> if you want, you can visit her tonight. I already did, actually. You did? Yeah, she feels a lot better now. I'm so glad. You're the best regrets. Thanks. And since you like to play video games, you could go to Bonnie-chan. We've already done that too! She loves to play them a lot. Indeed she does. <laughs> Seems like you two got along with each other really well already. Yeah, she's pretty interesting. So, how many times have you won? Uh, once. Once? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, you should be proud of yourself. Winning even once against her is already a miracle from what I've seen. That seems to mean a lot. <laughs> Do you maybe have some of your experiences to share? Hmm, let me think. Oh, that one was, uh, interesting. <laughs> it was at a Christmas party one day. Wait, you celebrate Christmas? Of course we do. And when it's Christmas, this location is always full of people. I don't know how it will look at the next Christmas, though. But back to my story. There was a kid once. I think his name was Alex. <laughs> he liked, he really liked me much while he was here. He was always coming to me. That's cute. It was, but sadly he needed to move out with his parents to another city. I could hear him cry, uh, hear him cry about that. Oh uh, yeah, that's rubbish. Yeah, but that's not the topic I wanted to talk about. More like about that present he gave me for Christmas. It was a fried chicken that he said he made all by himself just for me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the chicken, getting a chicken. That's a, uh, oh. Now I understand why she feels so weird about it. I could say that I was kind of shocked, but I guess also kind of flattered. But as much as I liked Alex, I did not eat that fried chicken. Yeah, that must have been a little weird for you. It sure was. But don't worry, I forgive him because he, he didn't know. I mean, he was just a kid. Right. Do you maybe have more to share with me? Well, I do, but I just don't feel like I'm ready to tell you yet. Oh, I understand. There sure are some more experiences you want to keep to yourself. But trust me, you feel a lot better once you tell it to someone you can trust and finally get off your chest. Maybe I will someday. Anyway, I think I'll be going back to my stage. And I'm sorry I brought up this mess. It's alright. Whatever the topic is, I'm happy to listen. Thank you, Regrets. See you later. See you later, Chica. Alright, who has been my favourite so far? I'm not entirely sure. I loved our time with Mango. I loved our time with Freddy. I kind of liked our anime session with Foxy. It's all been pretty interesting. And even BB surprised me. You know, the whole cleaning thing. I kind of love I kind of love spending time with Chica. It probably has to do with how normal she seems. I guess she kind of is the most normal, right? <laughs> it doesn't seem bad. Oh, okay. We have the one and only. Puppet Sam wasn't bad at all, even though she looks kind of creepy. I better not think about that. All right, here we go. The one and only. Puppet, are you here? Of course, on command, as usual. Oh, oh hello, hello again, again regrets. regrets. You, you look, look exhausted. exhausted. Are, are you okay? okay? I'm doing fine, I guess. I'm holding myself together. I am I'm glad to hear it. May I, I ask, ask what brings, brings you here? here? Uh, I don't know. I guess to just talk. 
If that is your wish, then I will not hold back. Uh, thanks. Uh, Puppet? Yes, Regrets? Did you get many customers in here? Of course I do. They buy these plushies and I accompany them. But you do not come out at night. I do not. Do you think you need to maybe spend more time with the others? I can't imagine being stuck in that box my whole life. <laughs> do not worry. I will think about it if that, if that is your wish. But that is not something I can just do overnight. Old habits die hard. I understand. But could you tell me why you aren't very social? Uh, a lot has happened, and many things change people, as you might know. You are adapting quite fast around our presence. Well, you're not wrong. But not only that. You are even willing to do everything to repair Goldie and Springy. I doubt many other people would be willing to do that. And with your kind heart, I assure you that you will succeed. I'm flattered that you told me this, but why do you tell me this all of, all of a sudden? Because I look into your eyes and I can tell that you must have also gone through a lot. Far more than I could handle. You poor boy. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. I just look like a boy, but inside I'm all man. On the outside I'm all child, but in the inside I'm all manly. Don't you forget. How many times have I told you this story? I'm actually 20. I'm actually flipping 20. I've got hairs on my chest. I actually don't. I'm sorry, but I'm not ready to tell you my story just yet because it was just a lot. It felt like a lot at the same time. I do not want to force you to tell me all of your story. Whenever you have something in mind, please do not hesitate to tell me. I promise I will do what I can to help you, Regrets. Thank you, Puppet. It really helps talking to you. You are very welcome. I, uh, better go then. I guess I'll see you next time? Of course. Until we meet again, Regrets. Hey, yo, the wise, the elegant, the fan flippin tastic Puppet. Helping us all up with our troubles and worries. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy I talked to Puppet. She's willing to help me with any problems I may have. All right. Is that the night through? Or have we got more here? Because we spoke to all the animatronics, you know? We met him for the first time, the second time, the third time, however the heck many times it's been with each of them. We got to know them a little bit better, so that was something. Okay. I think that was enough, enough break for now. Time to get back to work, I guess. I don't know why, but for some reason, I think that I missed something here. Which doesn't make any sense, because me and Freddy Chan already searched everywhere. Something's wrong. What's wrong, Regrets? Wait, what the flip? And now we're in a completely different room for some reason. <laughs> Unless this is part of that room and it's like, bigger than I thought or something. Huh? Oh, Goldie. Uh, well, I think that maybe I missed something in here? How could you? You and Freddy Chan already searched everywhere. I know, but... Ugh, there's just no other place to search. I mean, where else should I find something useful? In the toilet? Good point. But you never know, you, you might you, you might need to look, just in case. <laughs> should I maybe help you search? Uh, yeah, that would be nice. With that, Goldie-chan and I began to search in the repairs room yet again. Just please let it be that I overlook something, even if only with a small chance. You seem like you're getting desperate. Is it that noticeable? You're obviously not very good at hiding your feelings. I see. Listen. You shouldn't blame yourself if you don't manage to repair us, you know. And don't worry about Freddy killing you or anything. I'll handle it for you. Y you don't need to. Huh? I, I don't plan on giving up that easily. I, I keep my promises. I, I really hope. I don't think it's going to be the case, though. I just have a feeling that there's multiple endings. Like, there's a bad ending where we don't manage to repair them. There's the good ending, the true ending, and that sort of thing. And maybe even an ending where... We pursue one of the girls in some form in some way but again i'm not entirely sure if that will be the case but i'm hoping i'm actually hoping i keep my promises it doesn't matter to me how long it takes when i'm giving someone a promise i'm willing to fulfill it because one day i can but i can't do that by giving up i must say regrets i really admire you why to be honest i just lost hope after a while i was actually feeling sorry for springy she was always optimistic, so far so that she refused to lose hope, even though how unlikely it is for us to get out of the closet forever. But I admit that when she showed up and gave us those great, that great news, I truly felt hopeful again. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you when you invited me to your office, but I just wanted to get it out, get it off of my chest. It seems like Goldie Chan couldn't handle her situation as good as I thought. The Aww. truth is that she's hiding behind that smile to hide her true sadness. I'm, I'm not gonna give up. Huh? 
After what you've told me, I have no reason to back down at all. Besides, I'm part of the family now. Whether you like it or not, I'm part of these animatronic maze. I am. Uh, how often do I need to slip today? What? How? What the actual heck? Have we missed this all this time? This trapdoor looks so similar to the rest of the floor that there's practically no way you could notice it. Should we get in? I guess? Wait, hold up. I was the first one to go down the ladders. Those were really rusty since they weren't used in ages. Even after I reached the ground, I couldn't see anything. What do you see? Nothing right now. It's way too dark. I'll, tr I'll try to find a light switch. Luckily and conveniently, and of course I did. <laughs> what the flip is this? I turned on the lights and saw a really old and cold basement with much stuff stored in. Is it safe to come down now? I, I guess. Wow. Yeah, wow. Out of all the creepy places I've seen, this one takes the cake. I'm with you on that one. This room seems to have a lot in store. But this room was so cold and I couldn't even concentrate properly. But Goldie Chan came closer to me and held me close to her to warm me up. Okay, that's actually kind of sweet. She was surprisingly really warm for metal. <laughs> Is this better? Y yeah, thank you, I, I guess. Any time regrets? This place is so weird, especially since this wasn't in the map of this building. Oh my god, it's the back room. The one that is not on the camera or the map. Oh my lord. Can I maybe see it? Even though it's not in the back room, it was actually like some kind of basement thing, wasn't it? Sure. Yeah, there's the map. Not on here at all. You're right, I don't see the basement at all here. I also didn't know about the vent that leads right to my office. <laughs> yeah, Springy Chan tends to use it sometimes. Not really safe on my part. We proceeded to search around this newfound place and the findings were quite shocking. Goldie, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Y yeah, these are the parts that we need to repair you. Wow, the convenience! We don't need to pay for these expensive parts because they were just here all this time. Or at least most of it. Okay, most of it. So maybe he does need to pay for some more. Y yeah, it it's uh, unbelievable. They're, they're just dusty and all, but they seem to be intact otherwise for the most part. It's almost enough to repair you. I just need to get to the rest the rest of the fitting parts and then you'll be free. After all this time, could it become reality? But how will you get the rest of the stuff you need? I have an idea, but I want to talk about it with Roger first. He should arrive here in a couple of minutes. Uh, okay then. Then I guess it's time for us to get out of here. Yeah. Ayo. Okay. That was really unexpected. Right. First the secret trap door and then stuff that I need right underneath it. I guess today is our lucky day. I guess it is. It's almost 6 a.m. so I better get going. R regrets? Yeah? Thank you for giving me hope once again. Now I saw a chance for our freedom with my own eyes. That means a lot to me. You're, you're welcome. Hey yo, that ding dong ding a ling of that 6 a.m. bell is ringing! <laughs> All right, I think this is where we're going to leave it, guys. We're going to go on to night three in the next video. Again, I think doing each night for each video is good, uh, even though they're kind of long. But hopefully you guys enjoy it that way. If you don't, let me know in the comments. But if you do, you know what to do!